Hi, this is Edwin Dearborn, another edition of Caffeinated Content where we talk about great business ideas over that hot cup of coffee. In today's edition, we're gonna talk about are we about to witness the second renaissance? I think we may be, and I'll tell you why. Last night, uh, I don't watch a lot of t TV. Um, I do a lot of study, do a lot of research. I like to write, I like to create content. And so last night I was studying about the renaissance. I was watching a show a documentary on Michelangelo and the great leaders of the Renaissance in Europe beginning around 1500. And in particular in this episode, it was talking about Michelangelo and the Sistine Chapel and his creation of his epic statue, Michael, or I'm sorry, David. And um, it got me thinking like, well, what, what began the Renaissance? And later in the show, they talked about that the Gutenberg Press came out around 1440 AD. And by 1500, there were hundreds of printing presses. And, and up to that point, it took, in one man's lifetime, if he made books, he would make maybe 10 to 15 books in an entire lifetime, because he had to do it by hand. And all of a sudden, the Gutenberg Press took the diffusion, the dissemination of knowledge <clears throat> to everybody. Where before you had to be very wealthy to own a book. You had to be in the clergy or you had to be royalty. And these books were guarded with their lives because it was so difficult to document knowledge. But the minute that knowledge could be possessed by anybody because it was so inexpensive, literacy went up and what, guess what happened when literacy went up? Ideas were being spread, and the ideas being spread through these books, through the printing press, is what caused the Renaissance. I want you to get that. The mass diffusion of knowledge, it excelled medicine, anatomy, poetry, painting, architecture, like everything started to revolutionize, and within you know, 50 years, within, you know, three generations, we walked out of the dark ages into the, into the Renaissance, all within a matter of decades. And that was with a simple printing press. And I was thinking about it. We now, as content creators, we've met our new printing press, which is our mobile devices, our laptop. I'm coming to you from an iPhone 7 right now. I'm able to create and disseminate knowledge for nothing. You know, the cost of my phone and my monthly bill, which is, you know, a tax write-off and relatively small, meaning an ordinary person has a device now similar to the printing press to be able to reach more people than ever before, create and distribute content. And I thought about it, I'm like, you know, in the last 10 years, my ability to access content creators and new sources of knowledge, like the video I watched last night on YouTube, that was, you know, I'm exposed to history that I would have normally had to go to a college or a university or read a thick book. But now, for free, I get to go to YouTube and I get to access this wisdom about human history. And in turn, I get to grab my iPhone and I get to now reach you and tell you, hey, maybe we're about to reach a second renaissance of ideas. Maybe this mass diffusion of knowledge through mobile devices, through YouTubes, through social media, email, chatbots, all this other technology, maybe we are witnessing the beginning of the second renaissance. Now, it will be so if the knowledge is about helping people, about helping society, human life, animal life, the earth, the ecology, economy. If that's the purpose of the knowledge, then yes. And will people take time to actually study the knowledge or are they just gonna sit there and watch television shows that bring zero value to their life? To the degree that we take our time to disseminate, accept, and study this knowledge that is now widely available to us with almost no cost, then yes, I believe that we can begin to solve the problems where we can experience a second renaissance. But again, it's to the degree that we disseminate 
and study wisdom about a wide variety, whether it's spirituality, our mindset, the ecology, the economy, business, how to raise a family, uh, you know, how to eliminate pain from our lives, how to extend our life with health, right? All these things can be massively disseminated, accepted and studied, and even translated now automatically at a level that we've never seen before. And this is incredible that we live in this era right now. I think we live in an incredible era, but take it upon yourself to find out how you can contribute, not only as a content creator by distributing truth, but are you willing to actually accept and study this new opportunity of knowledge? I think if you are, then you will become a part of this new renaissance. Food for thought from Edwin Dearborn. You guys have a great day, bye-bye.